time to know the top stories of the day. I am Ace Paris and this is News Bits Tonight. Hugpong ng Pagbabago or HNP will back the presidential candidacy of former Senator Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. Meanwhile, Mayor Sara Duterte Carpe clarified that she will not be running for president. Duterte Carpe stunned her supporters when photos of her donning a green hoodie with Sara All 2022 printed on it went viral online as she arrives in Cebu City. Aside from the Marcos siblings, Duterte Carpi also met with other Cebuano high-ranking officials, including Cebu Governor Gwendolyn Garcia, Cebu City Acting Mayor Mike Rama, and Liloan Mayor Cristina Frasco, who is also her spokesperson. Meanwhile, the presidential daughter relayed that she is happy and overjoyed with the support of the Cebuanos whenever she visits the province. She, however, was mum on the possibility of switching in presidential nominations, similar to what happened to her father, President Rodrigo Duterte, in 2016 elections. Presidential spokesperson Jade Roque, however, said on October 8 that Duterte Carpio will not be a substitute candidate to De La Rosa. John Roger Orquiza, Newsbits Tonight. The Department of Education Davao Region or DEPED Davao will appeal to the National Office for the inclusion of five public schools in Davao City for the pilot implementation of the limited face-to-face -face classes on November 15. DepEd Davao spokesperson Genelito Atilio reiterated the previous statement of DepEd that eight schools in Davao Region were part of the tentative 77 schools in the country to be part of the limited face-to-face -face classes. Atilio said they already formalized their request by sending their appeal to the Office of Education Secretary, Linar Briones, for the possible inclusion of selected schools in Davao City. He, however, declined to name the schools as this would still be finalized and be submitted to President Rodrigo Duterte, who will approve the appeal. The official, however, revealed that the location of the eight tentative schools in Davao region to be part of the limited face-to-face -face classes are located in far-flung areas in two provinces of the region. Schools located in highly urbanized cities will no longer push through due to the spike of COVID-19 cases in the area. Ralph Yemit, Newsbits Tonight. To check for more stories, visit our website www sunstar.com.ph slash Davao, subscribe on our YouTube channel, and follow our social media accounts on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can also grab a copy of Sunstar Davao at Davao Central Convenience Stores, 7-Eleven, and nearest news outlets. That's all you need to know for tonight. Good evening.